In case China wants to take over one of our airports, we should give them that of Zamfara. Senator Sani, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The former senator that represented the good people of Kaduna Central Senatorial Zone, Senator Shei Hussani, has suggested what Nigeria should do if, Niger, if China wants to take over one of our airports as a result of a loan they, China, gave to Nigeria. According to a recent tweet made on his verified Twitter handle, the former lawmaker suggested that we should give China Zamfara Airport if they want to take over one of our airports in Nigeria with a default on loan payment. A post reads, In case the Chinese want to take over one of our airports if we default on loan payment, we should give them that of Zamfara State. It was recently reported that China has taken over Ugandan Entabit International Airport, another asset in the country over the failure of the Ugandan government to repay a loan. I really think that Senator Shehu has made a valid point here. The Nigerian government must rise up and do the need for Baker before it becomes too late. Borrowing money from one country to another will never help us as a nation. Supported. 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 The thing is, the man has sinned because they keep borrowing and saying, Nigerians will see it soon. They will see the money. They will see where the money is going to. Without being accountable for it. This government is so opaque. There is no transparency. And when there is no transparency, there is, there is no sincerity. Yes, if you have nothing to hide, you come out and state this. This and this are the phone. This is where it is going to. You can go and check and confirm. Yes. Will you blame him for coming out? But the way the borrowing is going on, like, it is now like every year, every six months. Imagine we're borrowing to fund the budget. The budget, too. The budget. In that budget that they're going to borrow to fund. Millions of naira, just, you see, millions of naira being wasted. On some things that are not even necessary. You see one one fifty million, one five hundred million or hundred million for what they call food and kitchen. I keep asking yourself what is going on? Who and who and who are really eating this food? You ask yourself. You 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 I mean, he has every right. In fact, immediately that news now, this for those who do not know, as I mean two days ago. Um, the Chinese government took over Uganda's only international airport over their inability to pay back the loan. This is what is happening. And I can remember when, you know, tongues are wagging, not, not even when tongues are wagging, when tongues wagged about this particular loan issue. Somebody came out, and the person of Joe Ibukwe, he came out and stated reasons, like he went to the internet and he stated how the government of every nation borrows money. How the U.S. borrow, how the same China will borrow from Burano. And I'm saying these people, they're taking money, they're taking loans, and they're very accountable for it. In Nigeria, you're taking loans. When will you pay them back? What will you pay them with? What is the lifespan of a loan? They have been taking loans for a very long time, and we cannot see it. And among these taking loans, do you know Nigerians, they have been recovering a lot of loot? And I'm saying... The loan they are collecting, then what is the effect? If recently they said, oh, the 331 billion, I mean, yes, 31 million, is it billion or million dollars now recovered from Abacha, from the late General Abacha, you looted. And other ones that they have been recovering, do you know it's enough to offset the loans? But no, these people come in, they take loans, and we do not see what they use the loans to do. They take and take and take and take, and at the end of the day, they leave Nigeria in a very more pitiable state. So I think he's only suggesting that in case you people have, et you have eaten away Nigeria's future, in case you have, you have eaten away Nigeria's future, or you have looted away Nigeria's future, when they come, you can just give them that of Zamfara. You would not blame him sincerely. You would not, because at the rate at which these people is going, the way some people who you think that, people who you think that, okay, these people, they are learned, they are very enlightened. 
the Ministry of um, Works and Housing came out and was saying um, it, is, it is not a bad thing for them to borrow because it is a way the coming generation is going to, is going to, is going to contribute to nation building. And I'm saying, what? And I'm saying, you don't mean it. It is a way the future generation are going to contribute. Like, when I read that thing, I was like, this man is not just, he's not just an average citizen. This man went to school. And he did not just go to school, he went to law school. Then after going to law school, he came out and is a member of a senior advocate of Nigeria. How did we get here? I keep asking myself, is it like when you enter into folly, politics, there's a brain fog that's ingested into your brain and it will make you to start thinking abnormally? Or some new, some screws in your brain are just loosed? Because you listen to these people when they talk and you're like, ah, what is going on? If somebody now that is not found, that is not sound and fine, Somebody is breathing from their mouth and feeding through their nose. If they speak now, it's okay. Ah, this person is not feeling fine. But someone who claims he's a son, who claims he's the current minister, man, no. It is the height of it. So they were backing this loans issue. And even recently, they said they were going to borrow to back up the budget. And I'm saying, as you are borrowing, what plans? It's not a crime to borrow, but what plans do you have to pay back? What are you going to say you are going to use the money to do? It's not that you're putting this money into where it's going to yield more money, then you pay these people off. No payment strategy, nothing. Eating away Nigerians' money, eating away the treasury. And at the end of the day, they come out and, you know, when Nigerians speak, they say, oh, they say, oh, this current, um, these people we are leading, they criticize a lot. Why won't they criticize you? You have proven to, the, to fellow Nigerians beyond reasonable doubt that you cannot do well because the number one issue, which is security, you have failed woefully in it. And these people are seeing that you're going to fail in the issue when it comes to economy. You're going to plunge the country into more troubles. And they're talking. And yet, it is seeming like they're complaining so much. All they're asking you for is for being mindful of how you borrow. QED. So I wouldn't blame um, Senator Sani for coming out and suggesting that he knows that, yes, these people have really messed Nigeria up. They have looted away the country's treasury. So, this is the airport you're going to give to China. If you really signed it, nobody, is, nobody even saw, you know, the agreement. I mean, that's why I said this, con this particular country. There's trouble. Nobody saw the notes because nobody saw the clause. Nothing, nothing. Nobody knows if they really went through the clause because all they want, all they want to do will be just, let us just borrow the money and get this over. They will not go through things that are in the set agreements very well. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.